Dear Professor Helmut Trimmel, we are here at the third edition of the Neurotrauma Treatment Simulation Center, a multidisciplinary hands-on program that aims to address global organizational issues to ensure optimal neurotrauma treatment. We have prepared a set of interview questions for you to offer a better understanding on multidisciplinary neurotrauma management to our audience and the way in which your expertise and involvement with the Academy for Multidisciplinary Neurotraumatology has shaped your view on the matter. So, uh, firstly, I wanted to ask what motivated you to be part of the NTSC experience and an active part of the AMN, and how do you consider that your background as a specialist in anesthesiology and intensive care medicine influences your perspective on neurotrauma management? Well, yes, thank you for uh, this question. Um, I think that uh, neurotrauma affects mostly young people. It's the number one killer for patients below 45 years of age. So I think this is a very important point that we face. This is a very big socioeconomic as well as individual burden. So for that, um, this motivated me uh, because I think, uh, especially for uh, emergency medicine and also intensive care, uh, patients with severe traumatic brain injury are uh, very, very uh, uh, patient collective that needs high quality of care. And this high quality of care needs uh, many disciplines to give this patient what they need. And this motivated me to be part of this neurotrauma uh, course, which uh, includes uh, many uh, of uh, medic medical disciplines. All right. And um, what do you consider as the main challenges in the current approach to neurotrauma? And how do you think that the AMN can mediate uh, these challenges? Well, I think uh, neurotrauma is best uh, treated if it starts in the early beginning. Uh, so one of the major challenges is to give good pre-hospital care, to give qualified care in the pre-hospital scene, especially uh, by ambulance uh, teams that are also staffed with physicians who make a drug facilitated intubation, who stabilize the hemodynamics and to bring the um, patient to the hospital that can provide neurotraumatological care in the OR and also in the intensive care unit, especially or at the best uh, if the transportation is made by helicopter. So this would be the high level of care. And uh, on this course we discuss with uh, colleagues from all over the world and we see a differentiated point of views and we can discuss and learn from each other. And this makes this course so valuable. Mm -hmm. And how do you think that the AMN as an organization itself can uh, help improve the management? Well, as I said, it brings together people from uh, different uh, systems of care and you can learn from each other. Mm -hmm. And you can see what uh, we will do, we see what they will do, they are very high uh, sophisticated uh, systems like uh, uh, South Korea, for example, mm -hmm. uh, and also from the European Union. And there are also participants from countries which have not all these possibilities. Mm -hmm. So I think this uh, makes it uh, very valuable to come together and to discuss this together. All right. Uh, could you please describe a case with a challenging decision you had made regarding the treatment of a neurotrauma patient? Yes, I remember a young guy who had a fall from the height. He was a mountain climber and he uh, was brought by the helicopter after a very difficult rescue operation because it was very stormy and they needed a lot of time to get him out there. And he was brought to a smaller hospital and they made a primary operative uh, actions. And then they called the university hospital and the university hospital said, no, we won't take over this patient because he's bound to die. And they called us then and uh, I talked to them and I said, okay, if this is like uh, the situation, I will take the patient because we are his hospital. He was uh, situated in a near area and we took him over. And when he came, he was really, really bad hurt. And we made a discussion with a neurosurgeon, with a radiologist, with a trauma surgeon, and with us as an intensive care uh, unit. 
And we came to the point that we said, we give this patient a chance, one last try to save his life. And now he's walking by himself, he's not able to work, but he's living at home with his parents, with his family, and he's happy to live. And I see him uh, once a year for, for close-up uh, visits, and I'm very happy that we took this chance. And I will always remember this guy because uh, he was one that we really saved his life, and he has a very uh, good quality of life for the uh, lesions that he had. So, um, as you mentioned, multidisciplinary collaboration in regards to this case, what are the key factors that you think contribute to a successful collaboration in the treatment of neurotrauma? Well, uh, the point is you have uh, you have to have a rescue change a chain, as I may uh, address it, from the first beginning in the field uh, to the intensive care unit to the OR to the rehabilitation center. And all these guys uh, have to talk to another and have to make a clear treatment plan to uh, give the patients the best chance to survive, but not only to survive, to come to a quality of life that is uh, worth living, you know. Mm -hmm. I think it's not so necessary to talk about mortality and survival. It's more important to talk about quality of life and to give all the measures that enhance this quality of life. Because this is, the, in the end, this is that what you, as a patient, will look at. All right, so for my last questions, what are the key takeaways or skills that the participants at uh, NTSC should gain? And what are your future expectations regarding uh, multidisciplinary neurotrauma management? Well, I think the key points that are takeaways from this course um, are the point of view that people from all over the world have regarding uh, neurotrauma management. Um, the key point is uh, to learn that uh, a close uh, working together will give the patient the best chance. And uh, if you take this uh, with you and to, you take uh, some examples for how to organize this, then you have uh, a lot to bring home and, and to set up uh, uh, something like this also at your hospital. Uh, because uh, route, uh, on a routine basis, to sit together, to talk through the patients, to make the pl a treatment plan um, from the beginning in the ICU to the rehabilitation phase, early rehabilitation on the ICU, this makes um, the difference in quality of life at the end. All right. So do you have a final message on your behalf as uh, NTSC faculty? Well, I'm happy to be part of this faculty. I welcome all the colleagues from all over the world who are coming to us. Uh, and I think, uh, as the feedback was from the uh, last two courses, um, there are many things that the colleagues take with them. So I think we should do this further on and uh, make it on a broader, even broader base in the future. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot for this interview. Mm -hmm.